Kolanta has definitely been our favourite stop so far. It's super relaxed, there's a slower pace of life, there's beaches absolutely everywhere, and of course, the amazing puppies as well. We've been sick for a few days now, so we've been stuck inside, but today's the day to jump on the scooter, escape the crowds, and find some more secluded beaches. Wake up! How are you? Good, good. We're just sitting here, and I saw something moving. That's big. That is a very big lizard. It's hot. The sea. Go squeeze through the gap. Work the gap, work that gap. All right, let's go see some beaches. How are you feeling? Apart from being a little bit sick, <laughs> this place is so nice. I don't even know what this beach is called, do you? Do you catch no, the name no, of it? No. I was meaning the slingshotting because of the roads. Oh yeah, it's pretty bouncy. Our bike is pretty bouncy. Like, but it's all good. You're like boop, 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 boop. I know, <laughs> I'm going for a real roller coaster ride. <laughs> I thought I was, I thought I'd lost her a couple of times. I feel I'd actually feel her separate from me. <laughs> thinking shit that's not what we want she's holding this camera our camera Greg as we call him we're just rocking out now onto this stunning beach weird I see a dude doing, a dude doing press ups down there but this is what we came here for this is the island vibes this is what we're digging I can count maybe 20 people beautiful sand it's weird this hasn't really been commercialized there's not too many shops or anything around but check this Everywhere along this coast, well not everywhere sorry I'm exaggerating, but as you come down along the coast you have these little moments when you get close to the, to the beachfront. Uh, it's just the, the further that we go the longer that we drive which is maybe about 35 minutes now the more raw that it gets the more um, yeah just completely untouched except for that child who's <laughs> screaming in the background. Just completely untouched and there's all these little bays it's just it's just a stunning way to travel. See down over this point down here just a beach nothing there palm trees or coconut trees lining along and this is a bit more of a rocky spot but again just no one around this is this is what we wanted to find when we came down here this is what we were looking for so we're going to try and uh, we're going to sit around for a little while just enjoy this and then definitely want to try and um find a beach somewhere that's more swimmable this definitely isn't find a beach that's a little bit more swimmable further down we're aiming for a place called bamboo bay and uh yeah take some time to sit down and enjoy it tried to use our MBK tripod. I think it was a success. I don't know. It's like annoying to travel with to be honest. I don't know how people do it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see how the photos turn out. <laughs> Hopefully they're all right. The surprise that it's actually still working because this is the one that fell off the scooter the other day while we were yeah. while we were driving with it. We're just cruising along and all of a sudden we have this bam 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 bam. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hi, Cap. Hi, Cap. How are you? Good, good. This is what we've been looking for. Richard. We've been looking for Richard. <laughs> the menu Richard. Sunset restaurant. Um, just like these shacks overlooking the beach. The weather's beautiful and the further away from where we're staying we get the more like a ruster it kind of gets you've got like the reds and the greens and the yellows yeah. everywhere like the music well maybe not the music here but <laughs> <laughs> i like it i really like it look at this so we're just on a little platform here insane view you've got the option to have sun or no sun which is always good All right, Richard, let's see what you got. Okay, so the first page is all Western meals. All Western. Fruit salad, 100 baht. Sp spaghetti, fast food. Okay, this really shows where we're at here. Spaghetti, fast food. This looks Thai, though, so this stuff looks quite good. And fairly standard prices that we're seeing around Colanta as a whole. In fact, 100 baht is pretty cheap for... Yeah, for somewhere like this, this is the sort of price that was paying up by us. Noodles, rice, okay, I'm jumping straight ahead. Fish, shrimp, drinks, where are they? Everybody knows what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it might be, uh, we're in a religious spot that doesn't serve beer. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down now, guys. We just need to cry for a little while. We're just sitting here and I saw something moving. That's big. That is a very big lizard. Look at that tail. I gave Stace quite a fright. I was like, look on the floor, look on the floor, look on the floor. And she's like sketching it. Oh, this is hilarious. This is so Thailand right now. We've got lizards there. These guys coming down to say hello. Our food's been cooked inside that, <laughs> that brick shack there. <laughs> Where is he gone? Oh, 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 oh. That's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that's what you get. We often get questions about how the bugs are here. The bugs are, ah, oh, he's down the bottom now, I think. The bugs are, there he is. Sorry, mate, I'm not trying to scare you. There's actually not that many bugs here, but you do have to get used to geckos and these guys every now and then. But when you've got views like this, 35 degrees weather it feels like maybe about 40 at the moment no complaints it's a competitive spot along here though there's all these ones here as well then there's guys up oh, I've overshot guys up there as well and all the way back behind us also We have made it, so we're very sketched out with the monkeys. We've made it to uh, Bamboo Bay, Bamboo Beach. So monkey, the monkeys might look cute. What do you think about them? No, they're not, they, I mean, they, yeah, like you said, they look cute, but they are unpredictable and they will come for you and your water bottles and your belongings. <laughs> Anything that they can get their hands on, they will take. So we've left like nothing on the scooter there. Helmets tucked away, we've got towels, absolutely everything that we can with us. This beach, this is this is what we've been hunting for. This is what we've been hunting for all day long. Super peaceful, really long, nice swimming, flat, calm. Yes. I know someone's gonna ask, hey, where's the drone shots? So the sad thing about Thailand is that they've put really strict rules in place for drone flying, and you're supposed to register, like legally supposed to register. Seen lots of creators rolling through Thailand recently and they're just going bugger it and just flying. Probably not really our, our, our thing. I don't feel like that's the right way to treat it. So you're just gonna have to go handheld with me, unfortunately. Just trust us that it's beautiful, maybe. The only downside I can see at the moment is it's quite rocky here. 
So we're having to do one of these ones where you stand up and you're like peeking down, Ooh. trying to see how uh, how dark it is and if there's any rocks there. I think this bit, babe. Right after this, Stace filmed me doing some sweet jumps into the water and then we sat down and chatted about just how epic this adventure has been. Then we went home and realized the memory card was full and it didn't record any of it. Despite being ill, we still had a fun day, even if this ending is a bit abrupt and shit.